Hello, my name is Cryptic, and in this video we will be going through my top 5 Wired Production games. This is my personal list, yours will probably be quite different. Before we start, I just wanted to add an honourable mention. This is for Fractured Minds, an immersive puzzle game developed by 17 year old Emily Mitchell. It's a great insight into the experiences of living with mental health illness. 80% of the proceeds from the sale of Fractured Minds go to Save in Our World, a mental health charity. In 2017, Fractured Minds won a BAFTA for game making. Right, let's get to my list, starting with number 5. Those Who Remain As the lights go out, the embers of darkness are stoked in the sleepy town of Dormant. Confront uncomfortable horrors, keep your sanity in check and survive the night in this story-driven first-person psychological thriller. Those who remain will always hold a special place in my heart as it was the first Wired game I ever played and I was instantly hooked. I love a good horror game and this one is great. There are a few times I screamed out loud. The story follows your character Edward on a journey to piece together the death of a young girl and to solve the disappearance of an entire town. Number 4. Close to the Sun Deep in international waters, Tesla's Helios stands still, an unbound utopia for scientific research. Rose Archer steps aboard in search of her sister quickly to discover not all is as it seems. A single word covers the entrance. Quarantine. Close to the Sun is a beautiful looking game with a fantastic story to boot. You play as Rose who is on a journey to find her sister. It has a very steampunk vibe and has some pretty scary moments. I think this was my second Wired game I ever played. Number 3 Deliver Us the Moon Deliver Us the Moon is a sci-fi thriller set in an apocalyptic near future where Earth's natural resources are depleted. A lone astronaut is sent to the moon on a critical mission to save humanity from extinction. Deliver Us is what I love about gaming. A really enjoyable and emotional story, great little puzzles and space. Who doesn't want to float around space and jump about on the moon? Plus, you have the best little companion in the form of Ace. That little robot is so cute. It's a really fantastic game that I've already replayed three times. Number 2. Arcade Paradise Manage profits, pick up gum, do laundry and get coin to unlock arcade units and flip the family laundromat business to become an arcade paradise. From literal racks to riches, Arcade Paradise sees you turn a laundrette into a thriving arcade business. There's so many arcade machines that you can purchase on your way through the game, and the best part? They are all playable. There are games inside a game. My favourite games are always changing, but they're all so fun and so different, there's something for everyone here. Arcade Paradise also has something special coming out, a VR version, which I am so excited for. Just before we get to the number one spot, I just wanted to let you know that I'm a GT Omega partner. I've been using their chairs for years now, and the element that I currently sit on is oh so comfy. As a partner, I have a little code, cryptic, that you can use on anything on their site and you'll save yourself 5%, even on the sale items. So go visit gtomega.co.uk and use code cryptic to save some money. Number one. Martha is Dead Martha is Dead is a dark first-person psychological thriller 
set in 1944 Italy that blurs the lines between reality, superstition and the tragedy of war. Martha is like Marmite. Some people hate it and some people love it. I hate Marmite, but I love Martha. So much so, I had to get the amazing collector's edition as well. It had a rough time on the PlayStation and had to be censored due to the graphic horror depicted. Still though, it is a beautiful game. The environment, the music, the Italian scenery, everything is just so good. The story is a wild one and it will leave you thinking about it many months later. To this day, I still think about it and revisit, even if it's just to take some virtual photographs. So there you have it. That was my top five wild production games. Are they the same as yours? Are yours totally different? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I've been Cryptic and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.